from RTO here. Welcome to another one-off album review. And this one is actually part of the Bill Wyman story. And an album that he put together called Willie and the Poor Boys. Um, so how did this album come to happen? Well, we've got to go back to 1984 when Bill Wyman got together with a group of well-known musicians to record this album of rock and roll numbers to help Ronnie, Ronnie Lane's appeal for arms. The band was called Willie and the Poor Boys and such people like Charlie Watch, Durant Wilkins, Mickey G, Andy Fairweather, Ray Cooper, Jimmy Page, Will Garnett, Chris Rea, Steve Gregory, Paul Rogers, Kenny Jones, Henry Spinetti and Terry Williams all got together. Now what they did, they recorded a, a studio album and then they put together a little live concert which was recorded in Sweden in 1992 when they got back together. The name is taken from Bill Wyman's Winnie Bago Mama's favourite albums by Clear Clearance Water Revival. So it's basically a collection of rock and roll songs and it's pretty good if you're loving rock and roll so disc one is like the studio album so opens up with baby p please don't go actually written by big joe williams in 1935 everybody's covered it the stones acdc it's great now this is a really funky version of it and chris rear does the vocal on it it's pretty good i love this version it's probably one of my favorite songs off this little compilation of great rock and roll songs um next up is a song recorded by lee dorsey in 1965 and it's can you hear me certainly a little bit different to lee dorsey's version but it is great charlie watts you can, it, it's drumming is just so simple but good excellent little track Okay, next track we go for an Otis. They went for an Otis Redding number from 1962 called "These Arms Are Mine." Once again, I love the original of this, but this is so good as well. A little bit different, but still an excellent song. Next is "Revenue White Lightning," written by the Big Bopper. But it was actually released under his real name, George Jones, in 1959. Great version of this song. It's a great big bopper number. Uh, and you can tell it's got that sound that big bopper did. Brilliant. Then we get a Chuck Berry. There's, there's lots of Chuck Berry on rock and roll albums. And this is his 1964 song, You Never Can Tell. Great track. Um got a bit of a revival of course in Pulp Fiction remember the dance that John Travolta and Alma Thurman did giving it all that so um, yeah it's a great track I've always liked this this is a better version than the version that Status Quo did I like this version a lot not as good as Chuck's but it's still a good version Next up, um, they decided to do a bit of Little Richard and they took his 1956 song Slip In and a Slide In. What a great version of this. You can't go wrong with a bit of Little Richard. Doesn't matter who covers it, they always do a, a great version of it. Solid song. Okay, they decide next to spy. Let's do some Roy Brown. Um, they did his 1957 hit Saturday Night. It's a great rock and roll song, and this, of course, is pretty good. Next up, let's talk it over. Hudson Whitaker. Not too bad. Many people have covered this, of course. It's still a great record, regardless. Now, then they do a Clifton Cheney song from 1976 called All Night Long. I've never heard the song, so I went and played the original, but this is much better. I love this version. This is the best version than the original. 
I'm going to go but way back. Now this song, this next song, was written by a chap called Amos Milbourne in 1948, and it's called Chicken Shack Boogie. Now I've heard this played by lots of blues bands in my time. It's a little bit different from obviously from the original, but it's just a really good song, and I've never really heard a bad version of it. And Bill and the Boys cronk it out with that one. Absolutely brilliant track. Now here's a song that I've only heard a few times in my life. Uh, Sugar Bee, which was done by Cleveland Crotchet in the Hillbilly Ramblers in 1960. It really is a great version of the song. So that's the um, studio. And then there's this is live concert. It's got a lot of other... Um, a few other songs and a few songs on this album opens up with uh, Jerry Lee Lucy's High School Confidential Tear It Up from Little Richard and we get Baby Please Don't Go then we get this medley of Oopa Pardu Rocking Phenomena and the Boogie Woogie Flu can we get Missed You Train all great little numbers Tricking sh Chicken Shat Boogie Stagger Lee is brilliant on here Lloyd Price what I heard, what I say, Red Hot, Loving Up a Storm. Then we get another uh, medley, Poor Boy Boogie, Bit of Hound Dog, Shake, Rattle and Roll from Bill Haley, Loving, Looking for Someone to Love and a Land of a Thousand Dances. What a great package. Some great album songs done in the studio and then this little concert which is absolutely belting. Um, I think it was just a great idea and the support of Ronnie Lane's charity. Nice little concept album. Bill and his mates just cranking out the songs they grew up on. And if you love rock and roll, and you're going to love this. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. If you think I'm sounding a bit nasally this morning, um, I am a bit of a... I just, when you know, for some reason, I had a nosebleed overnight. I feel a bit bunged up this morning. Um, but we've managed to get through. Okay, that's all for today. Um, but look out on Sunday. There is a special, and it's a collaboration. And this time, I'm doing a collaboration with Naomi from 365 Days of Prague. If you love Prague and you haven't checked her channel out, go and check the channel out. Um, I will put the link up on that actual video and what we're going to do, we're going to pick our top 10 yes songs and also this weekend, look out for another tier ranking um, there may be one, it may come out tomorrow, it may come out on Sunday but it'll definitely happen sometime over the weekend um, so I will see you all over the weekend with a couple of little specials. If not, I'll be back on Monday where we've got the last part of the Bill Wyman story, which is the Rhythm Kings, a band that I've actually seen who were brilliant. And the classic album on Monday is Remain in the Light, Talking Heads. Right, I'm going to go and sort out this nose because it feels like someone has shoved a, a bung up my left nostril. It's not very pleasant. Okay, bye for now.